Hi friends, Matt Beyer here with the State Historical Museum of Iowa. And for this month's Goldie's Kids Club Storytime activity, we're reading Nighttime on Owl's Head and making paper plate owls. Let's get started. Nighttime on Owl's Head is written by Christine Guzzo Vickery. And this book is all about an owl babysitting three little owlets and the amazing adventure they make through the historic neighborhood and all the crazy people they'll meet along the way. Now, Owl's Head is a neighborhood in Des Moines, a very historic neighborhood, actually. It was first laid out in 1888. Originally starting as a streetcar suburb, uh, residents would ride the streetcar between their homes and downtown, and the city of Des Moines quickly grew around the area. The neighborhood features many historical large homes, which were built between 1905 and 1915, including the former Iowa governor's mansion. The home served as the official residence of the governor from 1944 to 1976. After reading the story, you'll have a fun activity with my friend Kennedy, and you'll be making paper plate owls. Hi everyone, this is Kennedy, and today we are going to be creating your own paper plate owls. For this craft, you're going to want two paper plates, construction paper with the colors brown, black, yellow, white, and you can even have red as well. You'll also want to have markers, scissors, and glue sticks. The first step of this craft is to take both of your paper plates and you're going to color them or you could also paint them the color brown, like so. Once you have finished coloring both of your paper plates, you can go ahead and set those aside for now. The second step is to cut out the eyes and the beak of your owl. First, you're gonna to wanna to take your yellow construction paper and you're gonna cut out two large circles. A nice tip is to layer the circle on the paper and cut it out so you have the same size. Once you have those two big yellow circles cut out, you can set those aside. Next, you're going to take your white construction paper and cut out two medium circles. So make sure that they are a bit smaller than the yellow circles you just cut out. Once you have your white circles cut out, you may set those aside as well. Then you will take your black construction paper and you're gonna cut out two small circles, which will serve as the pupils for your owl's eyes. They're very hard to see, but you'll have two smaller black circles that will serve as the pupils for your eyes. Lastly, We'll take the orange construction paper and you're gonna cut out a triangle to serve as the beak. And you can make the beak any size you want. Be creative, whatever works best for you. Like so. The next step is to start to create the eyes for your owl. You're going to take your two big yellow circles and those will be the farthest back. You will want to layer on your white circles onto the yellow. So take a glue stick, and you can just lightly put that on the white and stick that on to the yellow. And you'll do the same step for both your eyes. And then next, you will take your two small black pupils and put those on to the white circle. Once you have glued together all the circles, you will have your completed eyes of your owl ready to go. Your next step is to create the wings for your owl. So you're gonna take one of your paper plates and cut it in half. Once you have cut your paper plate in half, these will serve as the wings. So what you'll wanna do next is take your other paper plate and put it down so the back side is up, and you're going to take your wings and glue them to your other paper plate. You'll wanna take each wing and just on the tip of the triangle, put some glue, and then press it down onto your plate. Once you have glued your wings onto your paper plate, this will be the finished product. The last step is to glue on the eyes and the beak to your paper plate. So take one eye, put some glue on the back, and press it on to your paper plate. You will do the same with the other eye. Oh, oh, oh. 
and press down firmly. Lastly, you'll want to take the beak, put some glue on the back, and put that right below the eyes of your owl. And this will be your finished product. Adults, here are a few questions to ask your young historians to further their learning. What do you like most about where you live? If you were to write a book about your neighborhood, what people or locations would you want to include? The Owl's Head neighborhood has the previous governor's mansion. If you were governor, what would you want the governor's mansion to look like? After you create your owls, we would love to see them here at the State Historical Museum of Iowa. Snap a photo of your owls and send it to museum.education at iowa.gov. And for more resources and programs here at the museum, go to our website at iowaculture.gov slash goldie.